Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to determine the volume using the diameter and the width. So diameter is more for circular shapes, so let's start with that. How to determine the volume of a circular sphere. So a sphere kind of looks like this. You think of it as a ball, and the volume of a sphere is volume equals pi r cubed. Sorry, volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And let's pretend our diameter is 6. Now, if our diameter is 6, that means our radius is 3. So then we plug that back into the equation, and we say volume equals 4 thirds pi 3 cubed. Now, 3 cubed is 27. And 4 thirds pi times 27 would be well, 4 thirds times 27 is going to be 36 times pi. So our volume is 36 pi. So that's how you solve the volume of a sphere using the diameter. You have to get down to the radius by cutting it in half and then doing the equation for the volume. Now, if you say you had the depth, which is kind of like the diameter, but for a cube or a rectangular solid, let's say our depth is 3, and our width is 4, well, we would still need a height, because the volume of a rectangular solid is uh, depth times width times height. So let's make our height 6. So here we would say 3 times 4 times 6, which is 12 times 6 is 72. So the volume would be 72. So you just learned how to determine the volume using a diameter or a width. I'm Charlie Kasov. Thanks a lot.